Hi, my name is Lucy and today I'll be guiding you through a short vinyasa flow with a focus on regrounding and releasing any stress you may be holding on to. The sequence can be done after work or any time during the day when you feel like you might need to reset. We'll begin in Sukhasana. Make your way to an easy seated position on your mat with your legs crossed and your hands resting gently on your thighs. Ground down through your sit bones, feeling supported by the earth beneath you. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Bring your awareness to your breath. Notice the coolness of the air as it enters your nose on the inhale and the warmth of the air as you exhale. Scan down your body, noticing where you are holding any tension and let it go. On your next inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale and bring your left hand down to the floor next to your hip. Keep the elbow slightly bent. Reach your right arm up and over, leaning over to the left side. We'll take a few breaths here. Next, inhale, raise your left arm and return to center. Exhale, place your right hand next to your right hip, reaching your left arm up and over, lean into the right. Breathe into the left side body, feeling a gentle stretch. Return to center. Reach both arms up to the sky and exhale, hands to heart. Make your way over to child's pose. Your knees can be together or you can bring them wide, whichever is most comfortable. Reach forwards and rest your forehead on the ground and breathe into your lower back. If your knees are apart, come up and bring them together. Spread your fingers and root firmly into your hands, pushing back to downward dog. Lengthen your back body, broaden your shoulders and gaze between your knees or maybe the feet. Feel free to keep your knees slightly bent if that feels better. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Push the ground away with your hands and let your chest sink towards the mat. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Begin to take lots of little steps, making your way up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back, and then exhale, fold from the hips, Uttanasana. We're going to hold here for a couple of breaths, add as much bend to the knees as you need, maybe walking it out on the spot, bending one knee and then the other. On your next inhale, root through the four corners of your feet and slowly roll your way up to standing, raising your arms up to the sky and exhale, hands to heart. Big toes are touching and heels are slightly apart. Make sure your weight is distributed evenly across both feet, feeling strong and grounded. Firm your thigh muscles and lift your kneecaps. Bring your hands to your sides, broaden your collarbones, palms facing forwards. Tadasana. Reconnect with your breath.
We're going to generate some heat now with a couple of rounds of Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach your arms back up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank and take Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Keep the legs active, broaden your shoulders and relax your neck. Exhale and push back to downward dog, letting your heels sink further into the ground this time. Inhale, bend your knees and look up. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift to a flat back and exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, root through the four corners of your feet and slowly rise to standing, reaching your arms up above your head. Exhale, Samastiti. Let's do that again, but picking up the pace a little. Inhale, reach your arms back up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank and take whichever version of vinyasa is within your practice today. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees and look up. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift to a flat back and exhale, Utanasana. Inhale, root to rise, reaching your arms up above your head. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, raise your arms, maybe adding a gentle back bend if that feels good in your body. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank or maybe jump straight into Chaturanga. Take a vinyasa and let's meet back in downward dog. Find stillness here and notice your breath, sinking those heels down. On an inhale, reach your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Bend the front knee, stacking the knee over the ankle. Inhale, slowly lift up standing, high lunge. Raise both arms above your head, creating space between the rib cage and pelvis. Rotate your left foot so it is almost parallel to the back of your mat and open up into warrior two. Continue to bend deeply into the right knee, bringing your thigh parallel to the ground if that is within your practice today. Widen your arms, stacking your shoulders over your hips, gaze over your right fingertips. Inhale, slowly straighten your front leg, raising your arms and rotating your front foot until you come into a wide-legged standing position. Your feet should be parallel or toes should be pointed slightly in to protect your knees. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips, root down through the four corners of your feet and firm your thighs. Lengthen your spine on an inhale and then exhale, slowly fold from the hips, bringing your peace fingers to your big toes. Keep the spine long and the chest open, with each breath drawing the top of your head closer to the mat. Bring your hands to your hips and add a micro bend to the knees. Root down and on your next inhale, rise up standing. Come back to warrior two for a breath. Then windmill the arms and come down to your plank position. On your next exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here. We're going to repeat that on the other side now. On an inhale, reach your left leg up, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Bend the front knee, stacking the knee over the ankle. Inhale, slowly lift up to standing high lunge. Raise both arms up above your head, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Rotate your right foot so it's almost parallel to the back of your mat and open up into warrior two. Continue to bend deeply into that left knee. Make sure it remains stacked over the ankle. Extend your arms and gaze softly over your left fingertips. Inhale, slowly straighten your front leg, raise your arms, rotate in your front foot until you come into a wide-legged standing position. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back this time, palms touching. Lengthen your spine on an inhale. Then exhale, slowly fold from the hips, bringing your hands overhead as you reach your head and your hands towards the ground. Keep the shoulders away from the ears and hold here for a few breaths. As a micro bend to the knees, slowly on an inhale, root down and rise up to standing. Move with your breath, come through warrior two, and then windmill your arms down to the mat, framing your left foot. Step back to plank. On your next exhale, take chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale for your back bend, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up and bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly come up to standing, reaching your arms above your head. Exhale, hands to heart. Adjust your stance so that your feet are just wider than hip width apart and your toes are pointing slightly out. Bend your knees and sink down into a deep squat, Malasana. Keep your palms together in Anjali Mudra and push your elbows into the inside of your knees to open up the hips. Bring length into the lower back and spine and reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. Make your way back to seated and then slowly and with control lower down onto your back, one vertebra at a time. We're going to come into our bridge pose. Bend your knees and place your heels directly under your knees. Feet are flat and hips distance apart. Arms are extended by your sides. Press into your shoulders and elbows and gaze straight up. On an inhale, press into your feet, slowly lifting your pelvis off the ground. If it's comfortable for you, you might want to interlace your fingers underneath your body, drawing your shoulders deeper into the upper back. Broaden your collarbones and continue to lift your sternum towards your chin. We'll take a few rounds of breath here. Place your fingers and lower your hips slowly back down to the mat. Just take a moment here, draw your knees to your chest and give yourself a big hug, maybe add some rocks forwards and backwards and then make your way up into a seated position. Stretch your left leg out in front of you with the foot flexed and bend your right knee, placing your right foot against the left inner thigh. Relax the right knee down to your mat. Inhale and raise both arms above your head. Exhale and fold from your hips over the top of your left foot. Maybe rest the arms either side of your left leg or grab hold of the shin, ankle or foot. We're gonna stay here for five breaths in total.
inhale and slowly lift up. We're going to repeat that on the other side now. So stretch out your right leg in front of you with the foot flexed and this time bend your left knee, placing the left foot inside the right inner thigh. Inhale and raise both arms above your head, keeping your spine long. Exhale and fold over the top of your right leg. You should feel a nice sensation here in your right hamstring. Inhale and lift up. Draw your left knee close to your chest and cross it over your right leg. The knee should be pointing upwards. Place the foot beside your right knee. Bend your right knee, resting the foot against your left sit bone. Draw your left leg towards your body to whatever degree is comfortable. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee as you twist to the left. Bring your awareness to your breath as we hold this for about 30 seconds. Let's repeat that on the other side. Inhale and return to center and cross in your legs. Draw your right knee close to your chest and cross it over your left leg, knee pointing upwards. Place the foot beside the left knee. Bend your left knee, resting the foot against your right sit bone. Gently draw your right leg towards your body. Inhale, fine length. And then exhale, bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee as you twist to the right. Hold here. Return to center, uncross your legs and straighten them out in front of you. Slowly lower your torso down until you are laid flat on your mat. Completely relax from head to toe, letting the feet fall away from one another. Scan down your body, noting any areas of tension and then let it all go. Allow your breath to flow in its natural rhythm. Allow yourself to sink deeply into your mat. Enjoy your shavasana. I will call you back when it is time. Start to bring awareness back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Straighten out your legs and reach both arms above the head, giving yourself a big stretch. Bend your knees and make your way over to one side into a fetal position. Exhale, 
and then slowly push your way back up to seated. Take a moment to notice the feeling of the ground beneath your sit bones. Inhale, reach your arms up above your head and exhale, bring your hands to your heart, thanking yourself for your practice today. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.